in this tutorial we will be covering remaining sketcher commands let's start new then model ok then click on insert sketch in task environment select the plane on which you want to work and say click on ok so we will see how to create ellipse so click on insert curve ellipse then specify center point then define the major radius specify minor radius and say apply so in that way your ellipse will be created of that dimension then next is insert curve polygon for polygon uh, specify the center point then specify the length how much length you want so this will uh, the type of the polygon is side length so this will be the length of the edge suppose I give it 80 enter rotation angle is 0 enter so in this way a polygon of edge length 80 has been created again we'll see other method for polygon so first is side length inscribe radius is one more method so for that also you have to specify the center point then inscribe radius will be actually the distance between center and the edge midpoint so we will just create one polygon suppose I will give radius of 60 and rotation of 0 degree so this has been created I will press escape to come out so in this case in this case a polygon will be created inscribe radius will be centered to edge of the midpoint so that means if you have the distance between two edges two front par parallel opposite parallel edges then you have to use this method then next method is inscribe radius then next is circumscribe radius again give the center point now here you can observe the radius is measured up to the corner of the polygon again give the distance 75 rotation angle 0 press enter then close so the uh, distance has been measured from center to corner corner of the polygon that means if you are corner to corner distance then you have to use this method so in this way you can create ellipse and polygon then next is offset curve suppose I have some if one line then I want to offset it so offset curve then select curve click on this line then specify the distance between the offset then if you don't want offset on both side remove the tick of this symmetric offset if you want it tick on symmetric offset so it will give on both the sides you can reverse the direction of offset by clicking on this button a reverse direction and if you want to create a dimension take it if you don't want don't take it if you can create multiple copies also if I say for you then it will create five copies of the line number of copies and then say apply so in this way polygon is created sorry in this way offset curve is created say cancel to come out then next is pattern curve suppose I want to pattern the curve suppose I have one cir circle is there I will just pan it holding down the shift and scroll button suppose I have this circle and I want to array it then I will say pattern curve then select curve this circle then select the method 
layout method pattern definition I want linear rectangular pattern I want to create then select the direction select linear object suppose I want to create single di uh, direction so I will remove this direction too select linear object I will just pull it outside so I will it will be easy to click then select linear object so I will give this as a direction so here you can give the pitch distance here is the span distance yeah. the other spacing method is also available so I can give pin count and pitch so number of account how much I want and what is the gap between those counts so in this way you can create it and if you want in other direction also then tick on this use direction to just scroll it down then select linear object to indicate the direction to so I will click on this data axis vertical data axis then define the number of counts and the page distance so you can use other methods also count and span that means you have to the count and total distance you have to give so in between distance it will work out automatically then pitch and span so you have to give the pitch and the span so it will define uh, automatically decide, decide how many object to be plotted there so number of count it will de decide automatically in this way you can use different method say apply to apply the or say cancel to come out then next method is suppose I want to create a polar polar pattern so I will just create a reference circle suppose I want to convert this circle into a reference element then you have to click here show all constraint and click on convert to from reference select object and say apply so it will be converted into reference object so you can use it, it as a reference only it will not be an entity so I will create one circle here at the quadrant position so it is creating the dimensions automatically and it is creating a clutter so uh, I can make that option off by clicking on this continuous auto dimensioning I will make it off so it will not create the dimension automatically then I will say pattern curve pattern curve then select suppose circular pattern then select curve I will select this circle then specify the rotation point click on this rotation point and give the center point click on the center of the circle so here the method is pitch and span so pitch is 10 degree angle and span is 180 so it has been filled in what 180 degree with pitch of 10 so quantity is decided automatically if you want count and pitch that way also you can give how much count you want and what is the pitch between each what is the gap between each circle how much degree is the gap or you can go for pitch and span count and span how, m how many you want to put and what is the span angle if you want to reverse it you can by clicking on this reverse direction you can reverse it on either side if you want to fill the whole circle you have to specify span angle to be 360 degree press enter so it will fill the whole circle so in this way you can create the pattern circular pattern then next is general pattern so we'll just cancel it and we will delete this then for creating general pattern we will again go to pattern curve then we will select general then select curve this circle then specify the reference point so reference point will be the center of this circle and specify the point where you want the circle pattern of the circle at what position you want you can specify those positions and say apply so in this way pattern will be created at that position 
in this way you can create the pattern curve then mirror curve is there if you want to mirror a curve suppose I have one shape I will just create one shape for mirroring purpose I will use profile for continuous line creation drag it and press escape to come out again I don't want that continuous enable ok it is off now now I want to create a mirror so I will just select mirror curve I will put it there by clicking on this arrow you can decide its position then by holding down first mouse, bu mouse button select all the curves then say select curve is done then center line click on this center select center line so I will click on this vertical axis and say apply so in this way mirror is created and if you don't have a reference axis you can also use a line suppose I will create one line here that I will use as a mirror axis so again I will say mirror curve I will select all the curves by holding down first bu mouse button then center line I will click on this line and say apply so this center li line will be automatically converted to center line or reference line so in this way you can create a mirror curve then next is ok and next is quick trim quick trim if you want to create a trim suppose I want to create one object suppose I will create this circle then I want circle one circle here then I want one line tangent to this point on curve I will take that object snap and when tangents comes I will click there I don't want center I want tangent so I can make it off also the center object snap so that it will not come and I will click on the curve so it will automatically create the tangent so again I want to create here also so line then tangent on this side also so in this way it has been created then I can remove the unwanted curves by clicking on this quick trim quick trim click on the curve that you don't want or quick trim can be used as a erase also you can remove all the objects you don't want so in this way you can use the quick trim then next is quick extend suppose some object is there so I will just create create the objects then I will say quick extend then click on the end point of the object so it will be automatically extended up to the next object so in this way you can use the quick, ex quick extend so it will automatically sense the object and it will extend up to that then make corner it will create the corner suppose uh, I click on these two lines so it will automatically trim the remaining portion and it will create a corner if I click on these two line if I click on this line and this line then it will extend also and trim also so here extension and trim two operation has been combined so in this way you can use the make corner then next is constraint you can apply constraint desired constraint to selected objects suppose I have some object suppose I have this one line I want to make it horizontal so you can say constraint and click on the line so it will show the 
possible constraint so you can fix it at that particular position then you can make it horizontal or you can make it vertical or constant length constant angle is there then suppose some more objects are there suppose I have these two lines and if I say constraint and click on these two lines then it will give different suitable constraints suppose I want to make it perpendicular so it will make perpendicular to each other again select these two lines so you can make it equal length so length of both the lines will be equal then next is equal length perpendicular you can make them parallel also they will be parallel to each other if you give the constraint dimension it will not rotate the line or it will rotate the line which is under constraint it is not fully constraint so in this way you can make it parallel then collinear so it will just overwrite on each other so for collinear some other option should be tried suppose I have this line here and now if I select both of them uh, first constraint then click on both the lines then if I say collinear so it will be in sim same line so it will be aligned actually if I have this circle and if I select so again constraint if I select circle and this line then I can make them tangent to each other so in this way you can apply different constraint as per your requirement so at first you have to click on this then select the object and it will be showing the possible constraint and you have to choose the required one so in this way you can create constraints